Welcome to SAT practice exam number one, section two, problem number four. Now, I have a pretty good idea that they're going to be testing us on our knowledge of commas, semicolons, and colons, because first of all, we see the semicolon and it's underlined. Then if we look at the answer choices, we see a colon and then also commas. So let's get started. Yogurt manufacturers, comma, food scientists, and then we have a semicolon. So what is our rule of semicolons? It separates, a semicolon separates two independent clauses. An independent clause is a complete phrase or a complete sentence. So it should have a complete sentence before and a complete sentence, complete phrase before and a complete phrase after. Well, the phrase before Yogurt manufacturers food scientists is not a complete phrase, so we can get rid of A. Let's look at B as a colon. Now, colons always, you have to have an independent clause before the clone. You don't need, necessarily need to have an independent clause afterwards, but you always, always, always need an independent clause before the colon. So a good trick is just pretend the colon is a period and see if it makes sense. Yogurt manufacturers, comma, food scientists, period. Well, that's not a complete phrase, so we can get rid of it. Now we're down, we're left to C and D. Again, the best way to, to do these problems is to focus on eliminating. So let's look at uh, D. Yogurt manufacturers, food scientists, comma, and then we have another comma, government officials are also working together to develop additional solutions for reusing whey. Again, that's, we probably have an additional comma here. We don't need that. So if it was just one comma, See if it works. Yogurt manufacturers, food scientists, and government officials are also working together to develop additional solutions for reusing whey. So C is the right answer, and I'll see you in the next problem.